Every two years, the Wisconsin Veterans Museum in Madison puts out a new display honoring those who've served. This year, the Souvenirs of Service exhibit features war memorabilia spanning 140 years. It's a rotating show, and this specific exhibit has ties to lacrosse. News 19's Marcus Arsvold gives us a tour. Vietnam veteran John Hine can't forget about the war because he lived it. I'm the last surviving member of my tank crew. I had a lot of good friends in Vietnam. <laughs> Some of them didn't come back. His comrades were killed when their tank drove over a landmine. Inspired by the artifacts, he wanted to share his story. And I reached out to grab the opening of the loader's hatch, and that hatch came down and slapped me across my fingers. And it broke some bones, and that's how I got that purple heart. And that's just one of the many stories. The museum even has a cannonball that killed a Wisconsin soldier. Lacrosse soldiers went back and retrieved it. The museum is the microphone, the veterans are the voice. It's not me telling you the story of the pieces, it's the veterans themselves. They've even collaborated with people from lacrosse. We've got the Historical Society and American Legion all helping. You can see here we have our second Wisconsin infantry that lacrosse served in, and even an actual flag donated. You know, a lot of times when you think of military history, you get lost in the machines of war. You get lost in the statistics, the tanks, the planes, the guns. Uh, you often forget the humanity behind the history. And I think everyone that's, that I served with, they served honorably, they served well, and they were very courageous young men. A real life look at a veteran's sacrifice. In Madison, Marcus Arsvold, News 19. Now, museum curators say they're always looking for more artifacts to put on display. So if you're interested in donating something, you can find information uh, when you find this story on our website. Or if you want to visit in person, the Veterans Museum is free and open to the public Tuesday through Saturday from 10 until 5.